So here we go. I'm just going to do this once, as I said. Uh, we got cut out by a bit of rain, but we don't mention the weather and any problems. We just carry on. So, uh, walking up towards a section where the canal splits. But the canal doesn't actually split, it's the same canal. To the left hand side, as we walk up, this is where the Haywood Canal joined this main canal. That's where we started from, over back in Haywood. And I said this is the wharf. So that links up right here, but we can no longer see that. I have filmed it in another video, so I'm not going to spoil the other video by telling you all about it, because all the information about it is in there. What happened is, I had an anomaly. I'm just going to get that out. An old man, or a, a chap nearby, came over and told me, oh no, that's wrong, which totally threw me. But when I look back at the way I do things, sometimes I do get it wrong. I admit that, but I never say I'm right. I always say, and it appears to be, and this looks like. Then I get my facts right, then I explain. I never actually say this. I actually said this is, looks like where the swing bridge would have been sighted. I would have got there eventually myself. This man says, oh no, there was no swing bridge there, this was there. And then I went, well there's a culvert there for Trub um, Brook to flow through. Oh no, that's not a culvert, that used to be the, uh, a big factory. Well that was actually Trub Sewage Works and Trub Brook did feed Trub Sewage Works. So that was right. The canal, swing bridge, was only slightly to the right hand side of where I suggested, by about 100 metres, but it is on this side of the M62. Right, so, Maidenfold Farm was right here in this area. The tunnel, which now the canal goes through, was put there for the farm. The canal was disused, so they covered the canal over and just culverted it with a tube, basically, so the water could flow from one end of the canal under the motorway to the other side, but it was disused, so there was no access for canal barges anymore. But there was a bridge right next to it for Trub Farm. So in the 80s, when they reopened the canal, Trub Farm was moved. That is the factory we can now see. It looks like a big farm, but it's actually a transport warehouse, you know, transport logistics company. But the original bridge that we will see, the bricks, are taken from the old bridge which used to cross the real canal which is situated on our left hand side. The swing bridge is no longer there, the original canal is, but as I've said before I have that in other videos. So this is just an explanation now. As we go to the other side of the motorway, that is where Trub Farm used to be and is also moved to one side now. I'm not even sure if it's still in existence. Okay, Manchester. Nightfall once again. But the idea is to finish at Castleton. Then we've got Chatterton to Castleton and the Haywood Canal branch. Now hopefully digital technology is going to give me a little bit more. Because that's all I need to finish where I was up to last time. So we're going to do this, we're going to wrap it up today. We're at Castleton. Okay. And it was the Haywood Branch Canal and we sweep right round through Middleton. slightly to our right on the other side of this estate or somewhere in this area but it used to be just down there next to the canal so both these farmhouses were next to the canal and the motorways come through and they put the bridges in to link the farms to the fields and everything else and shut the canal down so that that's that but then when the canal was reopened they've taken the existing bridge that was put in for the farm and actually moved the whole farm to the other side of the canal and they took the bridges that were there and they've moved the lock from about 100 meters down from the other side of the motorway and that now is the new lock and it is built with black bricks 
they are mimicking the rest of the canal but you can see it is more modern right so that is a rebuild and the old canal is over to our left hand side that's it so there is a cricket ground there the l and r sorry the l the lancashire and yorkshire railway company so that was not an open space next to us either and there was also a cricket ground there was a swing bridge in the area to cross over the canal so the cattle could get access to the fields on the far side but as the trains come in the cattle would have been moved again so the swing bridges you know what i mean they might not have still been in operation so the swing bridge was there anyway and it wasn't it wasn't for people it wasn't footbridge it wasn't filled with water for canal barges it was just for cattle and there was one similar on the other side so one's for trub farm and one's for maiden fold farm which just moved so it's all just shifted about and they've used the original coveted channel to feed water through from the canal you see so that can now flow again on the other side of the motorway and then that's where it joins uh, that's also a weir so we've not been down we can't see over the other side and it's dark as I've said but I'm just going to end here uh, but if we went down I'm sure we would see that the canal is actually built up on one side you know as you go down into the Castleton sidings in the railway area if you look behind us it'll look something like a weir or a dam and that is where I got confused so where all the ducks were just having fun wasn't the swing bridge but i wasn't far out and the explanation and the explanation was still bang on so all i had to do was suss out what had happened and how they moved the canal to one side so the bridge was in or the tunnel goes through the m62 was already there but for the farms not for the canal so the canal has been shifted through to that culvert that bridge and the bridge that you walk over the canal barge bridge which floats can actually be floated out of the tunnel to get a canal barge through and then floated back into the tunnel for people which is a good idea really also we got a very quick shot of a, the bridge in the distance the railway bridge that is that goes over the motorway but on, and the canal from Haywood would have gone alongside it so we're going to go over and have a look at that when we do Rochdale down to Castleton that's the section we'll be doing next and obviously Chatterton down to Manchester Town Centre, Castlefield Basin as I said. Okay I hope that makes sense and I just kept it brief and I kept that a little bit to the end and that ties everything up and I'm not coming back to this section anymore. Also I'd just like to mention the steel bridge, the blue and white steel bridge, there was two sections and one had no track so it's now a single line over that bridge there's also a little tiny bridge to the right hand side which was also another farm bridge for the railway so there we go that's as much as i can cram in as quick as i can cram it in if it makes sense i usually probably miss a little bit out but the main reason was to just finish off and we started off in haywood as i said and we finished at the end of the Haywood Canal and we've gone it took like almost four hours to go the other way round and that is why the canal was put in peace out Manchester there was a reason for all that take care seeing as though we're clearing up a few facts just as I end just going to explain the Irk River runs under the aqueduct as we've seen that is joined by Whit Brook which comes down from Whittle which is called Whit as well probably an abbreviation that joins Trub Brook which has just run under the canal it's actually under us here and it's too dark to show you but that is also part of this playlist where it says River Irk Culvert because I believed it was a River Irk Culvert but it isn't, that's where Whitbrook 
and Trub Brook join. It's at the start of the playlist, but they become Whitbrook and join the River Irk not so far down. So it's all part of the same system and it's all within Rhodes, Chatterton and Middleton. So I don't need to change anything. It's just that I will be saying, and this is the River Irk, but it's the River Irk section. So it does still make sense. So I'm just going to end here. So we've done a full circle from Haywood Wharf and we've also started at the top of Whitbrook and Chirubbrook, which flow down into Alkington Wood area which is also where I have filmed the River Irk in the past. So we're going to show those as pilots in between these three Canal Branch Line playlist videos. Okay, peace out Manchester. I hope it does make sense. Thank you for watching and please like. That's why there's two swing bridges and as I say there's a sewer works. So finish on the motorway. Yeah, so they've moved the whole bridge up over a culvert. And the culvert that the canal now follows would have changed direction just there in the distance. You can't see it anymore, but I'm stood where Trub Farm would have been. Okay. And Castleton to Rochdale, Chatterton to Manchester Town Centre and Castlefield Basin. Coming soon.